Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Get Your Hands Dirty. And what I like to do in these specific types of lectures is to actually get you to dive in and put into practice what we've learned so far. So in our case, we've learned a little bit about variables and constants in PHP. So very simply, I want us to jump right in in our code editors and start coding some PHP variables and constants and see how it works. So at this point, you should know the drill in your code dynamic websites course files, you should be able to follow along and we are currently in 05 get your hands dirty. You should also open up your browser and go to localhost port 8888 05 get your hands dirty. You can also use the navigation buttons at the bottom of every lecture to follow along. So here we are in get your hands dirty variables and constants. This is the final example of what we are going to be building right now. And uh, you can see here, I'm spitting out what looks to be just some plain static text, but it's not, it's actually dynamic text. Uh, and we're using PHP to program it. So for example, today's date, May 6th, 2014, for you, obviously, because you are from the future, it will, it will not be May 6th, this date is dynamic and is uh, the date that is right now for me, the date that I am recording this video. My name, Brad, I'm using PHP to spit out a string of text, my favorite color, blue, and my age. This is also another really cool one because this is the age that I am at the time of the recording of this video. You are talking or listening to 26 year old Brad from the past. So pretty cool. Um, there's a button here that says check out your example. If you click on that, you'll be taken to a practice.php page that looks pretty, but is empty. And these empty spots are where you're going to use your PHP coding skills you've learned so far to do the lesson. And you will be able to find that. I'm just going to go back to the final example here in your code editor. So make sure to open up your code editor and open up the code dynamic websites. Um, folder in your code editor of choice. Mine is Coda2. You should probably know that at this point if you are a, a regular student of mine. So I'll be using Coda2. So we are in 05 Get Your Hands Dirty. The index file is right here, but we're going to be working in the practice.php file. Feel free to look at the index file to see what it is that I coded. And in the practice.php file is where you're going to be working. So Let's just jump right in. So first of all, you need to, within your PHP script right here, I've given you a few directions with some comments. Define a constant. So like we just learned in the previous lecture, how do we define a constant? Well, first we write define. The opening and closing parentheses, we're going to need a string in there for the first argument and another string for the second argument. So this is kind of the skeleton of the define. Uh, when you're defining a constant. In here, we want to define our first constant. So we're going to define title. Remember, all caps. And let's call it, well, variables and constants. So variables and constants. So here we go. That is our first PHP constant. We've just defined it, and it should look just like this. Now, in under here, you will add your variables. So the variables that I've used here in the index, the final index.php, I'm using my name, favorite color, and birth year. So we should probably use those as well. So let's add the my name variable in our string. Let's add your name. On a new line, let's add a new variable. And that was fave color because I'm Canadian. I'm spelling it the correct way. And my fave color happens to be blue at the time, birth year. And just type out your birth year as an integer. doesn't need to be in a string. There you go. So there are your variables and there are your constants. Next up, I have a little flag here saying use PHP to calculate the difference between your birth year and this year to show your age dynamically. So how do we do that? Well, 
we have to set some more variables. But first, let's just talk about this uh, big mess of text I have right here in the index.php file. So when using the date method, PHP has to know the time zone where the server resides. In order to output the correct hour and date for that geographical location, the date underscore default underscore time underscore set method takes a string that locates the server. The list of supported time zones can be found at this website right here. And then you can set the method for your time zone. So date default time zone set Canada slash mountain because I am in the mountain time zone. Now you don't have to do this because we're just displaying the year. So for the most part, it's PHP is going to figure out that the current year is whatever the current year is. It may be off by, I don't know, a few minutes or maybe a few hours or something once the time changes uh, and flips into a new year. But you don't have to put this. If this confuses you and stresses you out, forget about it. You don't need to worry about it right now. Or if you're curious, that's great. Go to this website and just set your time zone right here in the date default time zone set method. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it below here to set the uh, default time zone for me. Now below here, we need to set some more variables. Now let's set a variable and call it today. So what is today? Well, you can find out what today's date is in PHP by using the date method right here. And to display the date in the way that I want to see it, I need to use, and it might look confusing, capital F, lowercase j, comma, y. So these right here will spit out the month, the day, and the year. Now, you can find these at this website right here, php.net. Um, I will be referring to php.net a lot because it's a really good uh, resource for PHP, obviously, because it is the official resource. And I am uh, going to the date method to find out the uh, parameters that you can use to spit out some text. So right here, you can see here's the options for the day. So lowercase d, capital D, J, and L. And this is the example returned. And then so on and so forth. There's a week, month, year, time. So feel free to go through that. And you can use any of these letters, these uh, formats, and put them within your string bet between the date and method. So in our example, we're using F, J, comma, Y. So that's going to be the month, the actual month, like, uh, say, January, not 01, day, and year so the full year okay so date here's the date method i'm going to put in my strings you can put single quotation marks or you can put double quotation marks i'm just going to use single quotation marks so we need the first one which is f then j comma year so we just set the variable today now we need to set another variable and that was this year so what is this year well, we can use the date method again, and we just want to store the year in this variable using the date method. And so we should know how to do that just by putting capital Y in the date method. So now the today variable has today's full date, and this year has today's year, or this year's year. Next up, we need to use PHP to calculate the difference between your birth year and this year. So I'm just going to move this flag here, the comment flag, below here, because that's actually the order that we need to work in. And we're going to calculate my age by doing a little bit of math. So PHP can do math. It's really cool. So my age, and in parentheses, so you can set a variable, and the, the value of the variable can be a mathematical um, equation and store it in that variable. So in parentheses, we want to say this year. So right here, this variable this year minus birth year. So let's type that out. So the variable my age equals, I'm going to do a little bit of math here. So the variable this year 
minus today. Sorry, birth year. So that will take this year, so in my case, 2014, minus it by the birth year, 1988, and this variable will have my age, my dynamic age, because this is a dynamic variable using PHP, and uh, that will actually have my actual age using math that is always up to date based on the year. So save that. Make sure you're saving this. If you were to check this out in your browser now, and remember to check your final example, nothing would show up. There's nothing here because all you've done at this point is set your constants and your variables. So there's actually nothing here to display. So we did a good job so far of, you know, defining our constants and adding our variables, but we haven't actually done anything to display them. So that's why down here in the actual HTML, you can see I have some HTML comments reserved just for you to put your PHP constants and variables to see what happens. So this is how PHP kind of works. You can have a separate PHP section in your HTML, but you can also uh, pepper your PHP, I like that, pepper your PHP, throughout your HTML. So in this case, I have page title. So let's uh, use PHP to display the page title. So P uh, page title is going to be a constant. So we have co the constant up here. So we know how to do that by going PHP. I'm going to close PHP so I don't forget. And in here, we're going to say echo and title. Remember, you don't need to put that in strings. This is a constant, so you just need to just uh, write it out like this. So get your hands dirty, PHP echo title. So now in your browser, you will see, get your hands dirty, variables and constants. So that is using a constant. Pretty cool. Moving on. So in the H1, we're going to do the same thing. So PHP echo title. We're going to echo that constant. Let's check it out. Get your hands dirty, variables and constants. Look at that. So that is dynamic using a PHP constant. Moving on. So in the sandbox, we have today's date. We want to display today's date. So do we have a variable for that? Yes, we do. That is today. So echo that using PHP. And we're going to echo today. Save that. Check it out. May 6th, 2014. So there you go. Uh, that is today's date for me. Yours will obviously be different. Let's move on to my name. So we have another variable for that. Let's type out some PHP. Echo my name. Save that. Check it out. There's your name. Now, my favorite color. Replace the HTML flag or comment with your favorite color, but using PHP. That would be fave color. There it is. Let's check it out. Cool. Last but not least, my age. Here we go. PHP echo my age. So here's where the math comes in. This variable should have this math. Check it out. 26. Boom. There it is. So yours should be different, obviously, because we're different people and we have different ages and we're currently living in a different time. Uh, and there's one last little thing down here. You can see just a copyright sign and a dash. It's kind of empty down here. Well, that's where I want you to try out adding uh, something that you quite often add in PHP websites is a copyright section with the date and the name. So say, for example, we want to display this year. We have a variable for that. PHP echo this year. And PHP echo your name. your or my name. Save that. Check it out in your browser. There it is. Copyright 2014, Brad. So pretty cool. Let's do a quick little review. In your PHP page, practice.php under get your hands dirty, we set up our PHP script here and we defined a constant, added some variables, strings, and integers. We set the date default time zone, optional, but if you want to do it, great. 
we use the date method to add the today's date and today's year or this year. And we use PHP to calculate the difference between your birth year and this year to show your dynamic age. Then we spit those things out using PHP echo and looks like this. So here's your example. Here's the final example. Check out your example. There it is. Perfect. Good job, guys. I'll see you in the next lecture.